The reason we walk today, the faces we know all too well. Our residents, our loving mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, grandmas and grandpas, aunts and uncles, friends and families. She was the most important person in my life. Always selfless, smiling, and cooking for others. She would give me ice cream for breakfast when my mom went to work. She doesn't remember our names or the amazing family memories we shared anymore. My purpose is to live a servitude lifestyle now by being humble, gracious, and giving to all, like my grandma Stell, Ann, and Gertrude instilled in me a long time ago. Grandma, I love you, and even though you won't remember this conversation, I know you feel it in your heart. Years ago, my mother, who had neurological dementia, lived in the Chelsea of Britain. At the time, I was the cottage, country cottage director. Things were good and bad at that time. I could see my mom every day, and yet I could see my mother's decline every day. The first year, Chelsea took over the brick community. The company redecorated the home. Instead of using typical artwork to decorate the walls of the lobby, the executive director requested a photographer to take pictures of our residents and staff. She asked if my mother's picture could be taken and displayed. And of course I said yes. One shot was of my mother's head and her caregiver touching. The other was her, their hands. When the pictures came in, everyone knew my emotions would be high. If anyone would like to see the picture of my mother's hands, it's in my office at the Chelsea in Manalpin. Her original pictures still remain on the walls in brick. Alzheimer's is not selective. When someone is afflicted with Alzheimer's, more than that person is affected. This is someone's spouse, someone's parent, someone's grandparent. My grandmother was my best friend. She was the matriarch of our family. She tirelessly helped raise my sister and I. She taught me many things and wiped away many tears. As I grew older, we only grew closer. Today I walk in memory of my grandmother Charlotte and all the residents that I have cared for over the years that have, rid that have enriched my life so much with laughter and joyous memories. Three, two, one! The balloons down!